You know, there are a lot of things we still don't know, including how exactly it spreads. I mean, we do know that it's probably primarily by the respiratory route through these droplets, so people have the virus in them, and then they sneeze, and the virus is in these droplets, and they travel across the people and inhale them. But we were trying to figure out, you know, how infectious they are. Right now, the, it looks like for every person who's infected, it's that person's infecting another two people, that's the so-called R0. Uh, and uh, they're trying to figure out, well, okay, where is the virus? You know, is it, is, is it in the nasal passages? Uh, is, if it is alive there, then can it infect people? Are there other ways that it can be spread, for example, through diarrhea, through stool, through saliva? And that's still stuff that's being uh, looked at right now. Public health officials I'm talking to are saying, look, if you're not in a high-risk area, or you haven't, you're not in an area where you think that you could really, it's likely that you're gonna catch it, there's really no reason to have the face mask. And think about how they work. This virus is tiny, it's 0.1 microns. And so these regular face masks, it can just go right through it. Now it may give you some partial protection because it's felt to be spread with droplets. So you may have a bunch of these viruses in a droplet of mucus or something else. You sneeze or you cough. And so it could go, that could get caught by the mask. But at best it's only partial protection. And it, and, and it helps to set up a, an atmosphere of, of fear. And that, you know what, fear spreads a lot more quickly than any of these uh, viruses, and certainly coronavirus. I mean, fear just spreads like wildfire. But we have a very robust healthcare system in the United States, and we are able to track down, do early diagnosis, and that, you know, it's, it's shoe leather that, how you contain something like this because there's no uh, antiviral that we know works, there's no vaccine that's gonna be ready for about a year. So what they do is if somebody is diagnosed, they isolate that person and they just figure out who are the contacts, they follow them closely or quarantine them, and that's how you stop the spread of, of a virus. Now, even though there are only 13 cases, I can tell you that public health officials are all over this and they are saying this is a fluid situation. It could change. The virus could somehow mutate. So they're not taking for granted that it's not going to spread. Uh, they're taking it very seriously and they're going full speed ahead on all measures, including uh, the antivirals and the vaccine. I, I know nobody wants to wash their hands for 20 seconds and sing happy birthday twice, but they're saying to do that. And if you use the Purell, make sure you get your fingertips in there. Uh, so just simple things. If you're going to cough, cough into the uh, crook of your arm. Um, and here's a good one. If you're sick, stay home. We have to change the culture in our society so that people don't say, I'm going to tough it out, I'm going to be a hero, I'm going to come to work. If you're going to be a hero, come to work and infect everybody. So we, we really have to change that culture and say, look, you're not feeling well, stay home.